country roads take me home oh something i belong west virginia mountain bomber take me home <laughs> yeah Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner, in which you find me standing in the post-apocalyptic wilderness of Fallout 4's Appalachia. Or is it Appalachia? If you get Appalachia wrong, I'll throw an Appalachia? Is that what it... Who knows? Now, as you might have guessed, this week's episode of VR Corner has been inspired by the TV show Fallout. Yes, that's right. I'm jumping on that bandwagon while the SEO is hot. And inspired by fellow VR content creator Beardo Benjo, I thought I'd give a mod list that's actually been created by another VR content creator, Gingas VR, a go for this week's VR Corner. And that, if you get it installed properly, will allow you to play Fallout 4 in VR with a bunch of of improvements, like 300 odd improvements. Gingas VR's mod list is insanely big. But my friends, it's also insanely complicated to put together. And I, as a PC illiterate console gamer, have had a little bit of trouble getting it to work. Um, and that's why I currently <laughs> look, like, look like a stick insect as I wonder. <laughs> around the vault. I think it's because I'm playing sat down and I calibrated my full body rig to <laughs> sitting high and I don't think you can play this sat down. I think you have to play it stood up. Hi <laughs> <My> little, <laughs> little weird little legs <laughs> around are amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Vic Reeves sketch or something. That's how big my gun, like, that's the normal size for the gun. So look at my tiny little arms and my tiny little pit boy. And <laughs> it's just the way my little legs wobble along. I've been crying about it. <laughs> look at them walking backwards. <laughs> now, from what I gather, the official Fallout 4 vanilla release is a little bit basic and bare bones when it comes to VR functionality. With Gingas VR's Fallout VR Essentials overhaul, you're able to make things a lot better in terms of VR functionality, um, in terms of graphics, and uh, in terms of a lot of quality of life improvements. This, however, does mean that you have to install about 300 separate mods into the game in order to be able to get it to work. And the process of doing that is long. And if you're me, very complicated. Look at that, it just keeps going. It's like 42 pages of stuff. And I, I, I spent a whole day trying to get this to <laughs> work properly. Um, I've run out of time, really. I will include links to where you can download and find all of Gingas VR's stuff for yourselves. But you have to use something called the Mod Organizer 2 in order to get all these mods installed. And... Um, I've definitely not done it properly, but here you can see my VR rig is about the right size here for me now while I'm crouched. I honestly <laughs> can't be bothered to stand up now. It's It's been an arduous task trying to get this working properly, so... I'm just going to configure it so I've got the little spindly arms and legs, and I'm going to do it that way. I think there's ways to actually get the Pip-Boy showing up on the Pip-Boy and um, being able to look at it on your wrist. I couldn't get that working either, because I'm, I'm terrible at this stuff. But once you do get it up and running, there are all these hollow tapes in your inventory that allow you, in your, in your Pip-Boy inventory, that allow you to customize the mods to your liking. Uh, for instance, the Frick configuration, which um, I can use to... 
Calibrate now. Whoa. And that, <laughs> that gives me a little mini body. <laughs> now, another cool thing you can do with the Frick settings is you can toggle selfie mode. So I'm about to give you your first look at my original character, Ian McLean, who is loosely based on Fallout TV shows, Lucy McLean. I am. <laughs> there he is. Look at this magnificent specimen of vaultly manhood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at those little bloody legs. Can I? Oh, can, oh. <laughs> this is like if Gremlin came to Fallout 4. Woo! -woo. <laughs> Anyway, I should probably show you some gameplay uh, from my short statured perspective. Um, this mod adds a load of visual improvements to the game. It also, if you follow the instructions to the letter, like I tried to, it also turns this game into more of a survival game, a hardcore survival game at that. So not only do things die a lot easier, Allegedly, so do you. So you've got to be pretty careful um, when you get into combat in this game. Look at this. This looks lovely, doesn't it? And it feels great just being here. Almost like I'm part of the TV show. Here's my lovely hometown of Sanctuary. Just how I remember it. A little bit dirtier maybe but it's kind of the same now there is probably a way to tailor this mod list so it isn't hardcore realistic survival i'm not sure how you do that i didn't want to touch too many things what i did do was make sure that there was no ui apart from the compass here which handily stays out of my vision so you know i can look down and see where my closest objective is but also if i look forward you know it's super immersive you're right, Codsworth, it is I, Ian McLean. It's really you. It is, in all my baby-handed glory. Ow! I can hold his little spiky hand. Ooh. Looks so rusty and nice. So, yeah. Oh, instead of searching sanctuary for my wife and child, I'm just going to go off and explore a little bit of Fallout 4. I tell you what. This place looks apocalyptic AF. Welcome to FTV Cribs, everyone. My name's Ian McLean, and this is where the magic happens. Oh, yeah. You might have guessed I've never played Fallout 4 VR. Well, I did once, way back at an E3 when it was first announced, and I played it for like five minutes, and it was just a stationary bit over at the Red Rocket over there. So I don't really have too much of a comparison to draw uh, here. It's the old Concord Water Tower. I remember it well. Oh, Christ. How's Ian McLean going to manage across this rickety bridge with all these giant gaps in it with his slender frame? I'm going to have to go very careful. He'll slip through the cracks like a penny dropped on a boardwalk. Whoa! Careful, careful. Watch where you're putting your weird little spindly toddler legs. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Let's just, let's just jump these big bits. I mean, that's quite a view. It's very post-apocalyptically brown, but oh, I love seeing the you know, the distant clouds going across the mountains and stuff. Ooh, what is this? A little bit of environmental storytelling, I see. Oh, that's, that's cool. So I can just point at a container, and then I can press A to take whatever I want from it. Double barrel shotgun, don't mind if I do. Yoink! Oh, so this guy... Beat off a dog with a crowbar, but perished in the process. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Whoa. People. Hello. Hello. It is I, Ian McLean. The terrifying toddler of the... Whoa. Sh oh. Perhaps the survival difficulty may be a little bit too much for some people because I think I took about one bullet to the face before I died there. And here we go, the red rocket. I love how accurately the TV show kind of recreated the red rocket. <gasps> Dog me! Hello? Oh my God, because I'm, I'm inhabiting the body of a 
tiny, tiny toddler. Dog meat is absolutely massive. I could, I could ride him like a mount. Hello, buddy. Oh, it's very cool being able to see the dog meat model from this close up. I can hear people. Whoa! Good boy. Good boy. That weird baseball Batman came out of nowhere. What the hell? You're a good doggy. Thank you for saving me. I'm going to boot the snoot. Boop. Hey, little dog meat. Do you want to come and join me on an adventure? You do? You do? You want to come and join me for this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner? Come on, then. Let's go. Whoa, what have you found? Is it good stuff? A wrench? I don't really want a wrench, dog. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how does VATS work in VR? Well, in this game, or with this mod at least, VATS actually becomes a kind of bullet time. So rather than pausing the action, it slows it right down. Whoa, <laughs> dog me! That was incredible, buddy. That was like a double kill. Yeah, help yourself to that Brahmin now. You deserve it. Oh, look, here we are, the town of Concord. Me? Who? Who's saying that? Hello? Hello? I ain't got all day. How did... How did you see me from up there? Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I know, hey, I, easy, I'm talking back at you. Down, yeah? What? I don't stand out in the open so much for shit's sake. Why not? You get I've got them in a puddle. I'm drowning. I'm tiny. Help. And hear me out. What? Okay, yeah. Kind of proposition for you. Okay, good. kill all the douchebag waiters ahead of me while they're preoccupied Dude. killing those dumbass settlers in their white night. You know, you do know you're asking a toddler to... Murder people, you right? Sweet ass suit of power armor. Say no more, buddy. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I'm going for the power armor. So why are you still talking? Hey, stop killing my dog. Okay, good work. That was a bit of teamwork there between me and Dog Meat. Hey, I know you. You're Preston Garvey. Hey, up here, on the balcony. Hi. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us. Please. Laser? What laser musket? Uh, I guess this one. Okay, grab. It's very big in my tiny gremly and toddler hands. Uh... And, oh, that's cool. Look, you can see right in there as the the charge builds up. This is a single fire gun from what I remember, so I have to reload it every time. Oh, well, that's nice. Look at that. And then reload. Yeah. I love that you can kind of see all the mechanisms going from a VR viewpoint. You've got that laser there. Lovely. What are you doing, dog? What are you sniffing? Steady on. Okay. Center Concord's Museum of Freedom. Now things are kicking off already. And as we've already discovered, I'm fairly ow oh, weak. Why can't I move? I'm stuck on something. Help me. Oh, I put some bats again. That melted him. Once again, everything looks very nice, and it's all scaled accurately to someone of my stature, who is, uh, you know, a tiny bit taller than a dog. Love all the creaky noises and the distant echoes. It's very spooky in here. Oh. There's someone. Okay, we're batsing it, and we're. Firing. That's cancelled. Yeah, absolutely vaporized. And dog meat just came and destroyed this one. Oh, I've oh, broken everything. Oh, no. It was. Ah, oh, damn it. Dog's just as clumsy as I am. Oh, I remember this place. I'm going to head upstairs. Actually, I wonder how Ian McLean's legs can handle a. A big staircase like this. Hold on. Well, here's your answer. The answer is not very well. <laughs> Christ. Oh, he's like tying his legs in knots. Christ. That groin is getting a right punishing. Holy moly. Anyway, 
This is not the time for wacky experiments. That's reserved for being in the vault. It's time to make my way up towards the Minutemen, AKA Preston Garvey's posse. Oh, I missed him. Oh God, oh God. I missed him again. Right, we're vatsing it. Yes. Just turned into smoke and ash in slow motion in front of me. That was very cool. What's in his pile? A bottle cap. Shotgun shell and a Molotov cocktail. Ooh, and some mutt chops. Love me some mutt chops. I mean, I wouldn't say that in front of dog meat, obviously. Whoops. Awkward. Oh, I see one. Can I shoot you through that? I did. I got him through the wall. Wonderful. Jumping for joy. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, it's all going wrong. Uh, that scared me a little bit there. Ah, here we go. The Minuteman. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Well, Preston, I'm your very own minute man. Get it? As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh. Is that a comic book? Ian McLean loves comic books. Can I has? Yeah. I can? Cool. Uh, uh, come back here. Come put, I think I need to finish this conversation first, don't I? There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. What? Pre-war. You might have seen it. Oh, uh, no. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. What's that? We're talking a full suit of cherry T45 power. Armor. That's what I'm after. That's Military what I'm after. Issue. Get the suit. Uh -huh. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. A minigun. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. A minigun. For my mini hands. Oh, buddy, I dig. Only there's one hitch. What? The suit's out of juice. Always a bloody hitch. Probably isn't been it? dry for a hundred years. Uh huh. It can be powered up again. Right. But we're a bit stuck. So I guess I've got to do all the hard work, right? Can I twiddle your knob? Doodly doo doo doo. Twiddling. Ah, uh, listen. I cut a long story short. I'm gonna go and see what I can do. All right? Well, all right. All right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Of course it is. Exactly can I have this comic now? Yeah. Now I need to go back downstairs to get myself that power core. I believe it's down here, but I don't know how bad the fall damage is in realis realistic difficulty. Uh, oh god, I'm pretty injured. I love getting to see all these assets up close and personal. The shine on this rusty knife, the sheen on this Nuka Cola glass bottle, and the weird head there. You can pick things up, and you know, if you hold X or whatever, you can pick them up and you can move around and look at them, or you can throw them off the edge. Wait, can I throw a. That's a bottle smash. Okay, let's see if I can make a knife stick in a wall. Ah. Heh. 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 Oh. There's the fusion core we need behind this big grate. So I just need to do a bit of hacking and hope for the best. This looks like the easiest piece of hacking I've ever done. There's only one option. Nice. Give me that fusion core. Lovely stuff. All right, fusion core got. Let's head back to Preston Garvey. Ooh, a bobblehead. Yeah. I, I promised we'd get there. I promised. I, I promised we'd get there. I promised. I'm keeping away. You're weird. I don't I'm like so you. I'm so sorry. You're definitely the kind of stranger that uh, my parents told me not to speak to. Hello, my beauty. Look at that gigantic vertebird. There's a, a very rusty but gigantic suit of armor. I wish they'd made it in Gremlin size. You know. Do they have another one of these out back for toddlers? What are you doing, dog me? I'll let you carry on with that. That's, that's weird. Nothing in the toolbox. There is Personal log. a log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, wow. a vertebrate crashed 
crashed into oh. the roof of this museum. Caused Jesus. EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. I got ya. All right, well, we've got some raiders kicking up a stink down there. Shooting up towards me, I think, but before I, you know, climb into the armor and sort them out. What a lovely view from up here. I mean, to the, oh, fuck. Oh, look at my corpse. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, I can make his finger twitch. There's still a little bit of life left in him. No time for sightseeing, because these guys are pricks. So let's sort out this power armor. I'm going to mend the power armor. It's kind of morphed down for my size, so instead of having big power armory fists, they're kind of like smushed together lumps of, I don't know, metal cabbage. Oh, you got It's nice having the interior of the, you know, the helmet in there so you can see all the stats and what's broken. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the capture, but just at the bottom of my vision, I can see uh, a whole load of dials and the, the uh, left arm and the right leg of this power armor suit are damaged. But this is, this is what we want. The Vertibird minigun. Now I may have the physique of a tiny child. But I'm able to heft this minigun. Like Jesse Ventura in Predator. So let's, uh, let's take this thing for a spin. Whoa, boom. And how do I fire this thing? Here we go. Ah. Oi, Preston, you kill stealing prick. Unbelievable. Is there anyone left for me to murder? Well, there's a few people. Come on. I'll use this power armor for good. Yeah. Let's kill some birds. Yeah. What's that? What's that? It's a death core. Ah! Leave my dog alone, you asshole. Yeah. Yeah, blew its bloody face off. More raiders. This is cool. Ah! Whoa! That was, that was some hell divers looking explosions right there. I don't know how much damage this power armor can take, but it's more than they can take, that's for sure. Did I do it? Oh, nope, not yet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm out. I don't know how I did it, but I got out. Right in front of the municipal plutonium well. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, his leg came right off. Look at that. Gratuitous gore in VR. <laughs> Did you see that, dog meat? Amazing. Do 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 Look, I think it's safe to say that I have neither the brains nor the maturity needed to get Gingas VR's mod list working properly. But I'm sure you lot at home can. Gingas VR has put a lot of hard work into putting this mod list together and making a lot of the mods themselves. So this is definitely something you're going to want to check out for yourselves if you've watched the TV show and now you really want to immerse yourself in the world of Fallout. And on that note, please do give this video a like. If you enjoyed this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner, do subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games. And why not click on some of these other episodes of Ian's VR Corner that are on screen and clickable right now while I dance a jig on this soon-to-be-exploding car. Do-do-do-do-do. Ah!